You've seen this before. Hello guys, Nitsa Gamer here, and I am finally back to do some more one arm percenting this game, and when did I actually start this game? Wow. So where we're going to be heading is Corona Mountain, and yeah, I have not 100 percent this game yet, but that's where I'm going to be heading, and Jesus. everything's like bright on my TV for some reason. I mean, thank God it's actually showing up fine in the recording, but... I'm seeing nothing but pure green on the grass, whereas your your guys' has at least some sort of um, interesting layer to it. So we're going to be entering in here, so let's go over... Let's recap what I have in total. So I still have to do Pianta Village. So it's 8th um, episode, it's 2 Secret Shines, and of course it's um, uh, 100 Coin Shine. And then I'm done the Pianta Village, but I also have to collect its 100 or 30 uh, blue coins, and thank goodness there's actually not that much, but I still need to actually figure out where um, the ones that I haven't collected are. And this is this is what I've been going over in like the past few levels, is actually figuring out, um, gee, how much have I actually been collecting before, and, um, and then figure out which ones I've collected and which ones remain. And yes, I am using like cheat sheets on the internet, but hey, I wouldn't be able to 100% the game without it. So yeah, there was a total of 20 in Delfino Plaza, so I am done collecting the blue coins in Delfino Plaza. So, as you can probably guess, we're going to be collecting the remaining blue coins in Corona Mountain. And this will be a short session, and I, at first I was only going to do Corona Mountain, but you know what? Screw it. I think I might actually do something else after this. I just don't know um, um, what yet. Alright. So there's actually a total of 10 blue coins within this level. So since we actually got 7, which is actually surprising, I thought I got like less than that, then yeah, I don't actually have that much to collect, but still. This, is, this level is like really complicated because for one, this is actually where you have to ride that stupid mud boat. And if you know how complicated the mud boat is, then yeah, you know what I'm in store for. And I will do be doing cutaways if I uh, fail this, because I'm pretty sure you don't want me to see you don't want to see me going through this whole thing again. So yeah, before there was like a blue coin that appeared like somewhere over there, and then there's nine blue coins at the very end, all the way around that island, just under where those clouds are. Oh. Actually, while I was at it, I sh probably should have been collecting some one-ups. So yeah, this is a mud boat, a boat completely made out of mud that for some reason doesn't actually get affected in molten lava. I mean, this thing is like so damn molten, it literally acts like water. Which also makes you wonder, like, how the heck does Mario, you know, how the heck is he able to survive, you know, something like this, but you know what? Super Mario games always had that extension of, like, disbelief, and let's face it, it's been in, like, other games as well, including, like, The Legend of Zelda and all that, where the, the hero literally goes into a place filled with lava, and for some reason, don't, doesn't die of it. God, I hate this boat. I, I know it's a cliche, and I've said it, like, thousands of times before, but this boat really gets on my nerves. No, 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 no. All right, after a while, I think I finally got it. Now let's try and uh, do this. So yeah, there's there should be only three coins left that I should have gotten, so... I actually can't believe that I actually managed to somehow get six while I was at it, because, as I said, there's like one um, back at the platforming area and nine pretty much around on that island. No, I don't want to go this way. Uh, Let's see if I can get it, turn this thing around. Stop turning that way! Oh, Jesus. Um, God, I hate this boat. Alright, there we go. Now we're rolling. Alright, so uh, where are the blue coins? So there's one over there. 
one over there, and I'm guessing the other one is literally just on the other side. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out which way is the easiest to go. And I know there was, like, a comment that I've been getting, like, oh, the easiest way to do it is just to commit suicide. Like, literally go on the island, jump in, get the blue coin, and there you go, you got one. But do I seriously have to do that for every single nine coins that I need to get? There's no way I have the patience to even do that, so... So I'm going to be trying to collect it while I'm in the boat. And as I said, if I fail or crash into anything, which pretty much crashing into anything results of fail, then I will actually uh, cut away so that way I can uh, get straight to the point. Because as I said, as I said, this mud bolt thing is such a pain in the ass. Oh, there we go. I think I flawlessly managed to get this one. All right, so that's eight. Now let's go get nine. So far, I think I'm doing a good job. Much more better than I did when I was doing this in part 40-something. I don't know, my uh, two-parter. Wow, I'm actually doing better than I thought. So, I think it was like Billy the Fifth or something. He's like, hey, you can actually, like, you know, try to commit suicide while collecting these blue coins. I mean, it's probably your best chance of actually getting them. But, you know what? Screw that. I'm actually going to be doing it this way. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Don't crash. And. I did it! Well, there we go. I committed suicide while collecting the last coin in Corona Mountain, so... That's the perfect way to end it, I guess. <laughs> wow. So, Mario, what do you say you go dive in in this, um, water? I mean, seriously, this lava acts like water. I mean, this should probably be killing Mario due to extreme heat. So, yeah, there we go. I ma finally managed to collect those remaining three coins that I didn't get the first time. So, there we go. That's ten blue coins, the total in Corona Mountain. The hot spring at the foot of Vile Delfino's Mountain is relaxing, but the lava caves which open on the plaza are forbidden for public safety. Well, screw the rules. I go in there anytime I want. You should probably put the gate back up there, though. I mean, the flood is over. God damn it, do I... Uh, stupid Delfino emergency broadcast system. They always pause whenever they have to give a goddamn announcement. Why did Nintendo have to do voiceovers for this goddamn thing? Yeah, so the the only amount of blue coins that I need left is 12, which is from the Pianta Village, and that will total out to 200, which means I did actually spend 40 previously to actually get four Shine Sprites. So, yeah, I'm just going to slightly do the math to actually figure out what I actually need left. So, um, pretty much I'll be collecting 20 Shine Sprites with um, 200 uh, blue coins. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck am I going to be doing since I've already collected all the blue coins in the plaza. Well, I may have collected all the blue coins in the plaza, but I still haven't actually collected every single Shine Sprite. Yep, you know what this means. I'm going all the way to that freaking island. And if I actually do manage to complete this, it would actually be my first time, no joke. Alright, so um, we get Yoshi. Uh, it doesn't matter what color Yoshi needs to be. I mean, I know in certain levels, uh, color does matter. You stupid boat! So yeah, we literally have to ride these boats um, to uh, the island. Shut up, DEBS. And actually, I'm not certain if I actually collected the shine um, up there. It's like a uh, slot machine game. If I haven't actually collected it, then comment down below that I haven't done it, because I'm actually not sure if I have. Because I think I'm actually missing two Shine Sprites, and one I know for sure is on the island. And honestly, this is the only level I can think of that I probably haven't done. Alright. 
sucks. You know, I love how you're actually, like, going in the, like, pointing in the opposite direction that the boat's not going and Yoshi's tongue does go long, but if you're actually pointing in this direction, his tongue is my, goes much more shorter. Yeah. So the next boat we want to catch is that one over there. Now, of course, in order to actually make Yoshi survive this whole entire thing, we have to keep on feeding him. And fortunately, the stops that we do go at do have, like, um fruits to feed him. So yeah, we had to give this yo uh, this lady like uh, two of these fruits. Or three of these fruits. And it looks like I'm going to have to spray him down in order to feed Yoshi. Get him. There we go. All I gotta do is wait for that goddamn boat. And yeah, that boat will pretty much lead us to that thing where we pretty much collected the uh, 100th coin shine sprite. And that will lead us, uh, and then another boat will be going around there as you see it now, and that will lead us to the island. So far, so good. Hey, yo, you know, Yoshi recently just ate all this. How about you have the juice? You know, I kind of love how Yoshi actually does his little dance. Wah, 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 jump. One, two, one, two, jump. One, two, one, two, jump. All right, so there's our uh, boat that actually got us here. So now we have to jump onto. Um... And yeah, as I said, the, the, sometimes the controls can be such a pain that it's easy to fall off of these boats. So yeah, it's best to just stay at the top and then just do nothing once you're on top of it. And yeah, if you think uh, getting over to that island is repetitive enough, then trust me when I say the level is actually worse, believe it or not. Alright. Let's see if we can actually get onto this boat with then, without any difficulty. <sighs> awesome, we did it. Well, goodbye, second boat. Time to actually go to this island. One, two, one, two, jump. Left, right, left, right, jump. Oh, shut up, DB, as you're ruining Yoshi's dance. No, we're not. Screw you. Yeah, seriously, that golden bird is literally standing on the water. And yeah, there used to actually be a guy that used to live on this island until he actually ended up over there. I can't eat the bird. But yeah, we literally had to bring Yoshi all the way over here. Just so we can actually get in here. Well, here we go. Get in there. Please, get in there. I'd appreciate if you go in there. And yeah, pretty much from this point on, we don't have Yoshi with us. And this is considered to be the hardest minigame or the hardest level in the entire game. And the reason why is because, for one, the water's poisonous. Two, once you get this lily pad moving, it will keep on moving. And since it's one of the poisonous ones, then that means, well, it will eventually sink. Oh, geez, I'm making this look easy until I miss that. Yeah, the point, the trick of this is to actually take it slow, so that way you can actually get every single red coin. Now this is, now this is actually a little uh, tip from me, if you're actually going to be doing this. So five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth one is just up there. Here's a little tip: if you try to actually get the red coins by actually hovering to side by side, that will actually be pretty hard. And here's another thing. Don't ever take this war pipe. If you take this war pipe, not only will you actually be screwing yourself over, but you will actually um, leave the level and return back to Delfino Plaza, and you'll have to actually do the thing with Yoshi all over again. And no, I'm not kidding. So yeah, it's best to either commit suicide or just um, jump into the water. And as I said, jumping into the water instantly kills you, so you want to stay out of it. And yeah, thank god I actually have a lot of life, because I'm going to need it. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Ah, shoot. Yeah, see what I mean? This is actually very hard to do. But, we gotta complete this goddamn hard level in order to actually complete this game, so... I will be doing cutaways so that way it won't be that repetitive for you guys. So I'll see you guys when I, um, die. Frick! God, it's hard to get that fourth coin. Yeah, looking at all the shine sprites on online, it looks like um, my possible second one that I'm missing is the slot machine that I pointed out earlier. <sighs> well, nothing more I can do except try to get through this, SOB. I came all the way here, and there's no way that I'm going to lose 20 lives just so I can actually lose. So let's get this done and over with. Ah, uh, awesome. Yes! Okay, good, good, good. Oh man, this is probably the best I have done so far. And I even managed to get a 1-up, that's awesome. Frick! Well, screw that. I'm gonna go on the side and... Just commit suicide down to Earth and probably eventually land in water. Because it looks like it's nothing but 100% water down there. Yeah, 100% water. So I think I'd be safe. <laughs> Maybe the impact might be a little gruesome, but I might be safe. Ah, uh, awesome. I totally speeded a little through there, but awesome, that was not awesome. Yeah, doing this is like next to impossible. You gotta be... Wow, I actually did that. Yeah, it looks like I lost my little lily pad, so... You know, I'm gonna actually die anyway, but let's see how far I can go until I actually drown. No! And of course, this is the downside. You literally can't go back. This is the most stupidest part of this entire freaking level. I hate it! Come on, I only have like 10 gigabytes on my computer. It's not gonna last long. Oh, f damn it. Well, what the heck just happened? What the heck just happened there? Ugh. That lily pad actually got stuck there. I probably could have actually had the chance. Good job. No. Oh my gosh, I actually have a chance to beat this for the first time. No! Oh man, if I actually landed on there, I could have actually got the 8th coin and finished this! Why, game? Do you purposely want to make me lose? You know, once you actually figure out a strategy to actually beat this, um, it's actually not so bad. I mean, you pretty much just have to figure out what's your best opportunity to actually get, like, you know, the coins. Ah, frick. Nita, you know you could have spread to the left and... Oh, shut up. Oh, come on, that's the second time I did that. No! Ah! Stop doing that, Mario! You just have to collect the coin and then g and stay on the lily pad. Don't walk off! Gosh, video game characters. They just never learn, do they? Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm reduced down to 10 lives? Okay, Nitsa, you have to beat this. There's no excuse for you not to.
come on. Awesome. Oh, yes! Yes! I did it. I freaking did it. And I got right off the lily pad before it went away. I'm not gonna lie. This is the very first time I have ever completed that goddamn level. Awesome! Yes! That was freaking awesome. But yeah, if you die or go into the war pipe at the very end, you pretty much end up here and you have to go back to that island again, which I'm pretty sure you don't want to do. So there we go, guys. I think I pretty much only have one more shine sprite to actually collect and then pretty much the uh, 20 um, remaining shine sprites. I mean, I'm not sure how much there is in total, but if there's 40 in total for the uh, Delfino Plaza, which I'm guessing there is because... I would actually need like one, two, three, four more shine sprites from the Pianta Village. Okay, so that's um, 99. One shine sprite, 100. And then 120 would be those blue coins. There we go. So that's pretty much all I have left is actually Pianta Village, the uh, 12 blue coins within that level. And then just one more shine sprite that I don't know where, which one I'm missing within Delfino Plaza. But looking around, I think the I think the possibility of the one that I haven't actually completed is pretty much this one right here. Because I'm pretty sure I did like the thing with the um, rocket nozzle. I'm pretty sure I did the thing with like the red coin lands and the tall grass. I'm pretty sure I did um, like the water slide one and the slide in general. And yeah, this is actually one that is like really hard because for some reason there seems to be a force that actually like pushes you away from the first one. So yeah, if this is actually the uh, blue coin that I am missing, then... Oh, shit. And yeah, the physics in this is so awkward, but I'm guessing it's purposely made to be awkward just so it's more challenging. I'm not sure if I actually did this before in a previous session, but this is really the only um, place for the secret shine that I can think of that I have not collected. Oh, thank goodness I landed in there. But yeah, the physics in this area is just so weird, and it... And it doesn't help that it makes it impossible to actually get that uh, red coin that is right beside me. Because as I said, there's literally a wall that blocks you from going in there. It's like, eh, no. This is one default area, which is pretty much, I think, where the Shine Sprite is going to appear. <laughs> I cheated. Call me what you want, a cheater or whatever, but hey, whatever works for me is... Good for me, I guess. Yeah, because you can actually go back when you're actually, you know, past that first point. So yeah, it's pretty easy to actually get all the other red coins, except for that goddamn first one, which for some reason is such a jerk. Oh, there we go. I just need that one more red coin. And, of course, the physics are going to be such an ass with me. So, let's see how this goes. Oh, man. No! 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 No, 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 no. Whatever physics is put there, I swear, that was a bug in the game and Nintendo should have removed it. Just no. No, 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 no. Get in there, good. 
Seriously, and I thought the lily pad one was hard enough. Yeah, that's like your best bet to actually get that one red coin so that way you don't have to waste time actually trying to get it when you're going through the slots. Woo! No! No! I landed right towards where that... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm drooling. Come on, I'm down to actually less than the amount that I actually need in order to complete this. This game is the best game ever! This is better than Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Not to name in. <laughs> but I still like this game regardless. Seriously, how the hell do I get in there? I've done it before, so why can't I do it again? Oh my god, you're such an... This game's such a dick with me. It's like, Nintendo, how did you intend us to actually get into that first goddamn... Seriously, that green one, it's just... Ugh, it's like purposely trying to laugh at me. There. Thank God. Yes! Oh my God, I actually got in there. Finally. Yes. I actually finally got in there by doing wall jumps for some reason. No, get in there, get in there. I did not waste the time to do nothing, you son of a... Oh, come on, game. I, I, I took a lot of effort to actually get that one red coin that is, like, next to impossible to get, and you do this to me? This to me, you son of a... Oh, God. I hate this level, and I thought the lily pad was actually worse. Sc screw that, guys. This one is actually the hardest. Whoa! How did I do that? No, I'm sorry. How did the heck did I do the impossible? You can't get into that green one. Nintendo doesn't allow you. So how the heck did I do that? Well, two more to go. And I believe one of them is actually in the purple one. And the other is actually not far from here. Yeah. There we go. So here's one of them. And then the other should be in the uh, purple. Now if I if I think if I do just, you know, a normal jump, I'll just land on a nail and then um, it's easy to go from there. Yeah, I'll just land on a nail somewhere in the center. Yeah, it's usually that one. Freaking finally! And yes, this is the Shine Sprite that I haven't collected. Awesome. I'd totally suck if I were doing it for no reason, but... Yeah, I figured this was the number one Shine Sprite that I didn't get. Yes! Just... Rage out! Yes! Oh... God! That level is like... Oh. 
Uh, that level just filled me up with so much rage, and I thought the lily pathing was worse. I mean, to be fair, the lily pad, I actually lost more lives, but that's because you need to come up with a strategy. But with the paintball one, you're purposely, like, being pushed away from the first one, so it's like, why, Nintendo? Why? I mean, it's possible to beat, but it's like trying to actually make something impossible out of, like, you know, a game of Sonic 06. Which, by the way, watch my recent Off the Consoles resurfacing this game part 1 and part 2 because I will actually be explaining more about um, what those videos are about. And it actually leads up to an um, upcoming Top 7 countdown that I'm making, which is Sonic 06 related, so go check that out. Alright, so that's all the Shine Sprites in Delfino Plaza. So, um, that's 20 in Delfino Plaza, which means... Um, the next um, uh, 20 Shine Sprites, which there's a total of 40 within Delfino Plaza. Yeah, there's a total of 40, and I only need like a total of 200 blue coins since I spend like um, 40 already in there because the total amount of blue coins in this game is 240, and since I spent 40 in there, got four Shine Sprites, I just need to actually get the um, 12 that is in the Pianta Village. Get the three uh, remaining Shine Sprites that are in there, and I am done this game. And after I'm done the game, then I will actually go and face off with Bowser. So, yeah, this is actually going pretty good. Um, how long did I actually record for, out of curiosity? 41 minutes? Are you serious? Well, there... This entire uh, session is going to be pretty much a montage of fail, so yeah, it's going to be less than that. So guys, when we actually return, um, I'm going to be continuing on with Pianta Village, collecting the two secrets from, um, which episodes again? Um, the secret of the village underside, which... I'm not looking forward to because this one actually involves like the the uh, Piantas that chuck you and if you thought that level was hard it's actually harder collecting the red coins so that's gonna be exciting and then we got the Flood Festival coin hunt and in this one again I'm not really looking forward to it because this one is actually kind of interesting because it's actually another red coin collecting uh, thing but the thing is is that the coins are actually so hidden that you purposely have to find where Nintendo pretty much hit it and yeah there's actually one right there and then there the red coins are pretty much in the most ridiculous places like there's one red coin up there and it, yeah, there's one secret shine sprite pretty much under there, which is the secret from um, episode 6. Yeah, it was episode 6. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. It took me a long, long time to figure out where the heck the, um, the um, other secret was. I mean, it took me a long time to figure out where the other secret was, and I could not believe where it was all along. But we'll get to that in the next session. So, guys, thank you for watching. Um, this is Nitsa Gamer signing out, and I'll meet you guys back um, in Pianta Village. Goodbye.